The series heads to Philadelphia. True story, we have so many Phillies fans on our staff. Go Phillies has just replaced hello in the morning. Padres Phillies, coverage begins tonight, 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific, only on FS1 and the Fox Sports app. Victor Cruz still here with us. This segment's wonderful. It's brought to you by Midas. Tires, brakes, oils, repairs. Request your appointment at Midas.com today. Guess what? The San Francisco 49ers went out and got Christian McCaffrey. They played the Chiefs. Is, is Nick's analysis, you know, a little bit skewed because he's nervous? No one's saying that. <laughs> the odds to win the <laughs> NFC still go Eagles, Bucks, then Niners. Nick? Yeah. Does this make San Francisco the team to beat? Well, they already were. And, you know, you can talk about my analysis being skewed. I, would, I didn't skewed. Would If never anything is that. skewing my analysis, it's that 50 to 1 Chiefs Niners Super Bowl ticket that I've been keeping Ooh. in my pocket, all year, uh, which is now worth quite a bit more than it was 24 hours ago. Cash that out. Because for this moment, for this year, as long as he's healthy, they're obviously better than they were. Does that justify the trade? Not necessarily, but if they win a Super Bowl, it certainly does, and this raises their chances of that. I think right now, if you look at San Francisco, just within the NFC, let's forget the Chiefs, forget the Bills and the AFC. Do they have the best defense in the NFC? I say yes, when it's healthy. Once Nick Bosa gets back, yep. they get their corners back, everybody. Do they have the best offensive line in the NFC? No, but a good one. And they do have the best left tackle, and he might be back to, you know, this week. Do they have the best tight end in the NFC? Yes. Do they have the best group of skill position guys now with Debo, C-Mac, and Ayuk? Certainly can argue it. I mean, I, you, you can give me a second candidate, but I think right now they have the scariest and most versatile group. Mm -hmm. Do they have a coach that you trust? I do. I know Shanahan's a little controversial for some. And do they have a juggernaut team within their division they got to go through? Nope. Not even close. So for all those reasons, with respect to the Philadelphia Eagles, I think the Niners can overcome their incredibly limited uh, mistake-prone quarterback. And can make the Super Bowl. And, I, you know, I thought they could make the Super Bowl with a rookie quarterback or an essential rookie quarterback in mm -hmm. Trey Lance. So, yeah, I think they're the team to beat. Yeah, I agree, man. I think getting a guy like McCaffrey, getting essentially another Debo Samuel on your team in terms of skill set, in terms of what he does, in terms of how they like to use a player like C-Mac, it's just going to be tough to stop. It's going to be tough to kind of key in on all those guys every single down. And Kyle Shanahan is a pretty creative guy when it comes to making plays and creating plays and creating opportunities. He's really creative when it comes to those play calls. So I can only imagine the creativity he's gonna have with C-Mac in the backfield. Imagine him and Debo in the backfield split, motioning. You don't know what's coming at you. So I think they're the team to beat. I think they're thanking their lucky stars that Jimmy G never got traded or no, nothing happened, nothing came oh, about of that. I like the fact that they came no, back and got <laughs> him back in back. there, like, they need to be thanking their lucky stars that he didn't go anywhere else and that they were able to get him back in that locker room because the team, that first game back, the team missed him. They loved him. They could tell. They wrapped their arms around him. It was fun. It was back in the mix. They are the team to beat. I mean, yeah, of My course. Giants are there too. Every Whatever. starting Red. quarterback broke his Don't leg. Don't come and mess it up. Don't be not mess up that beautiful soliloquy. Wait, what's the All kid's right? name? The seventh rounder. Okay, we're not talking about seventh rounders. We're talking Look, about Jimmy Look, th th this is weird. Yeah, that was great. I, I hear you on Jimmy G. We got some graphics if you want to see them that show how, how successful he's been. Mm -hmm. This is going to be weird, though. Because Bruce. you know I like Jimmy G. Oh, this is but when I think of the team to beat, like if you tell me Buffalo's the team to beat in the AFC, sure. or, or even uh, you wouldn't say Kansas City's the team to beat because Buffalo's there. Yeah. But those two teams are head and shoulders above the rest of the conference. Yeah. And so one of those, you could say they're the teams to beat. As much as I like San Francisco and I think they got a great chance of getting to the Super Bowl, am I ready to say like they're – they're the Buffalo or Kansas but City of the NFC. Started, I can't say but it. But that's because even as much you you say you like hey, Jimmy I agree. G, I'm it's gonna because give, you don't trust him. I'm, I'm going to give you – like Jalen Hurts, it's who you I can't – I don't know if I can say I can trust Jalen better more than Jimmy G because mm -hmm. Jalen wasn't good in the playoffs last year. But right now, Jalen looks like a better quarterback than yeah, Jimmy G. Of course. Dak obviously is a better quarterback than Jimmy G, though he hasn't done it in big games either. And obviously Tom Brady if Tampa gets it together. So – 
I, I, I agree with you on what you're saying about Jimmy G, but that they can't be like the definitive team to beat no. because they don't have a superstar quarterback. Right, or just star. Or, star or quarterback. just above average. Right. Well, no. no. See, see, there, With any he's of those going too far. You, know you open the door. Of course. You open the I'm door. Being you either honest. ride hard or not. He's a go really go good home. quarterback. How about that? No, no, that, no, no. that doesn't pay Hold the bills, Broussard. Wait a Jimmy second. G's a really good quarterback. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If he were, a, if you really believe he was a really good quarterback, then it's an easy question, because you you just said he hasn't even proven what Dak has proven. Dak is in the good to really good category, and you correctly in that moment of clarity uh, had Jimmy G in the right spot. Because I know you love their defense. I know you love C Mac. I know you love Debo. I, the 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 one yeah, but with this team. The one like, ah, oh, boy, I, I'm nervous, is their oh, quarterback. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, all right, I have a question. It's not about sort of projecting. Mm-hmm. It's about the game on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. San Francisco versus Kansas City. Now, I understand that maybe I'll have a small package. Probably C-Mac won't play at all. Mm-hmm. But just suppose that we <laughs> treat, you know, the 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 uh, his acquisition like when you get a new pair of sneakers mm-hmm. it's not like well i'll take it home and i'll maybe i'll wait a while and i'll find a nice outfit like no man let's go right out of the store put my old ones in the box i'm walking out of the store let's go it starts right now if that were to happen if they wanted to be super aggressive what would uh, Christian McCaffrey have to do to make an impact on Sunday against the Chiefs? Man, I think they would, uh, again, they'd have to create a, a small package for him, for him to go out there and be successful. And to just, he has to be able to be in a position to play and not think. Okay. And go out there and be in packages that I can just hand him the ball or tell him to flare out right or be in the slot and running out. Simplify the entire playbook or his package so that he can get the ball in space and do what he does best. That's giving him the ball in space should be the only task right. for Kyle Shanahan moving forward with both Debo and C Mac on this football like team. It. How can we get them in space, wide open, or with their ball in their hands and make something? And they can happen. do that by they can Sunday. Absolutely do that. Right. Okay. Well, they, but the, but where his biggest utility is going to be. I believe is going to be lining up as a running back, them seeing that they have a heavy defensive package in, they split him out, now he's got a linebacker on him, and he can go run a route. Though that type of stuff, him and Debo being interchangeable, that is going to take time. For sure. So th- th- where I, I do not think, and I'm not saying this because they're playing the Chiefs, no, I, know. I do not think the way he, if he is used on Sunday, is going to look similar at all to how they plan to use him for the bulk of the yeah. season mm-hmm. because they want to use they want to be able to use they, they, right now they have the best running wide receiver in football in Debo mm-hmm. and now they also have the best receiving yes. running back in football mm-hmm. and that should allow Kyle Shanahan to do a lot of fun things I would be stressed out healthy. if I was the Chiefs defensive coordinator 26 24 Kansas City I think they're gonna Spags, be don't be stressed that's out that's not what Spags you feel right. like, uh oh <laughs> you got yeah, on your phone oh, oh no! Uh, oh, are the Dak? Are Dak and the Cowboys on upset alert? Stay tuned for the hottest segment in all no sports. Way. No, no. Tears is the best. Budlist is. The-